And if you need a lender, not just about the new construction in-house lender, I do have a lot of outside lender as well that I can recommend you. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor, TXP Real. Today I'm gonna explain you how to pick or choose the right lender for you. If you are planning to buy a property, especially if you are a first-time home buyer and you don't know where to start and you don't know what does the lender do, consider watching this video from the start until the end so that you will have some idea and hopefully this video will help you to start your home buying process. Alright, but before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. The most important thing you know that much that like bother me and share this video to all your family and friends so that you will help them as well how to pick the right lender for them all right so without further ado let's jump into it first thing i would like to say here is i am not a lender okay i am a real estate agent here in central florida specializing in new traction i just want to say that out of the way so let's jump into it so number one i'm going to talk about here is the three type of lender okay there are like three different types of lender so number one or first type of lender is the traditional bank so what is the traditional bank so here as you know we have like a commercial bank like chase wells fargo or bank of america etc okay those are the commercial bank which is the traditional bank where you can ask them to lend you money and you know provide you the loan for your mortgage okay you can choose that one there's no problem with that one however sometimes they have like different interest rate or different loan terms that they are offering okay so you need to think about what kind of loan or lender that you are looking for like for example if you are looking for a competitive like low down payment or low interest rate or something like that you need to canvas first don't just stick to the one bank or one lender that you just found somewhere okay that's from my personal advice anyway so what I would do is like I will compare compare them find find like three different lenders and then once you find them all all you need to do is just compare them what's the interest rate what is the lenders fee and what you need to pay extra for their service you're gonna use them okay I hope that makes sense that's the number one so number two is the credit union so credit union is good as well if you're gonna pick them because number one is sometimes on credit union they offering like low cost for their service compared to commercial bank and sometimes they also offering their own interest rate and also sometimes they are offering some low fees for their process your loan okay there are like different kind of like fees that you need pay if you are planning to buy a property and use different lender as i said earlier you need to compare all the banks that you're gonna pick and also compare what their service fee com compare their, their lender fees and all and so on so that you will have some option where to choose okay and the last type i'm gonna talk about here is the online bank okay there's a lot of online bank out there that you can choose from to lend you money for your mortgage okay that's another option for you which is really good too because number one if you're gonna pick like a online lender you don't have to go to the bank personally you just need to do or submit everything the computer okay so you don't have to worry about like making an appointment to the bank talking to the mortgage broker you know everything will do it online so which is good too you know which is convenient especially if you are super busy you don't have much time to stop by in the bank talk to the representative or agent in the bank and go back and forth giving their papers all your pay stub you know for credit checking and all that stuff I think online banking oops, sorry. I think online banking is good for you so consider that one too so once you found the three different types of lender or bank and now what I'm gonna talk about here is the key of considering or picking the right lender so what I said earlier that you need compare the interest rate each lender or each bank okay because sometimes what they do is they have like different kind of interest rate they have like 0.5 higher this one and the other bank is 0.4 lower and the other one is just like flat zero and different kind and so on okay they have a reason for that one so you need to find out why they have like higher interest on this side and the other one is lower interest in this side because sometimes they have like different kind of fees like 
for example they have like a lender fees that you need to pay and sometimes they have some different fees that you need to pay for processing your paper getting your paper ready bringing your paper to underwriter and sometimes they charge as well like in underwriters fees you know all that stuff so you need to know first before signing anything about your lending stuff because otherwise if you don't know or you don't compare your lender or the bank that you're gonna pick or choose you might end up paying more instead of like you know saving some money and you know just researching before picking the right lender if you know what i'm trying to say so that's the one that you need to think about it and also what you need to think or consider is your loan terms okay if you don't know what's the loan terms it means like what kind of loan that you want to do they have like different kind of loan like fha loan conventional loan va loan or arm or interest payment only you know there's a lot there's a different kind of loan out there as i said i'm not a lender so i don't know what kind of loan that which is good for you so the best thing to do is like compare them and also ask them if the loan is suitable for you let's say for example you only want to have a 15 year mortgage loan instead of 30 years so that if you're gonna do the 15 year mortgage loan is you will save money and also your loan term is shorter compared to 30 year mortgage loan however if you're gonna pick like the 30 years mortgage loan compared to your mortgage loan payment will be less because your loan term is longer compared to 15 year mortgage if that makes sense so best thing to do is ask the lender what they offer because sometimes if you think about it and you want to have a loan or a mortgage and you want to pay off early some some lender they will charge a lot on that one that's they call like early termination fee something like that so you need to make sure that once you pick this bank or lender that's gonna lend you to buy a property or a mortgage you need to know all the terms before signing anything because if you don't as i said when you are there and you, when you want to do something like finishing your loan early or refinancing you know they might have some hidden fees or fees out there that you didn't know because you didn't ask or research at the beginning all right so make sure to do that first before signing or picking the best lender for you or the bank so that's my third one let's go to my fourth one if you are going to pick a lender make sure that you are going to pick for the best recommendation or for those people who's been using this lender or mortgage or bank that your friend does or your family does in the past okay and if they have any problem if you if they have any complaint you know make sure to ask somebody first so that when they give you a good recommendation for this lender and then you know you might consider getting this lender because your, your friend or your family member used them and they have no problem then go for it however don't just ask like one family member try to ask different family members as well or friends how does like this bank did for them them for the mortgage or how does this lender did for them okay you need to compare them and also not just about comparing them you need to go to google or ask about their ratings online okay because sometimes when you are looking for something for example if you are if you want to eat somewhere what we normally do is like we go google and search for how many star they have right for the restaurant the same thing in the lender or in the bank you go to google and ask for the rating things of this particular company or particular lender or bank if their rating is good is high then you're set to go you can see there to compare and if they have like good rating no complaints then go for it don't, don't just go to google you can go to different site as well like facebook business page or you can check them in yelp as well and some different online researches where you can pick or choose from so that you can see how the how does they do or what their rating is. so for the bonus one i would gonna say if you are going to pick a lender i for my personal tip i would go for an in-house lender or a new construction builder lender why because what they normally do is like they are giving you such a lot of incentive like they are going to pay your closing costs they are going to give you a very competitive interest rate promo as you know right now is the interest rate is like around seven or more some builders that i'm working with or the lender 
here, they are giving you a promotional of sometimes they give you 5.5 or sometimes below 6% or 5.75 and so on. As long as you are application is approved with their lender side, okay? And also, it's just not like that. If you are going to have a lender or the in-house lender of the builder who's going to build your property, there's no much like problem because they are working like in one company, if that makes sense. So if they need something to each other, they can just communicate straight away. So this is the video for today. I know this video is quite long. If you stay in this video until this end, comment down below lender. So I can see how many people who needs a lender. And if you need a lender, not just about like the new construction in-house lender, I do have a lot of outside lender as well that I can recommend. All you need to do is just comment down here or call me, text me, email me, and I will be happy to help you out. All right. So once again, thank you for watching this video until this end and I'll see you on my next video. Peace. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with the experience.